Do you see that mysterious figure floating out there in the vast blue distance, potentially threatening to inflict mass destruction upon the human race? Changing life as we know it forever? Pretty sure that's just a bird. Jim. Huh. Wanna just go watch the news then? Yeah. My name is William Wigan. You're watching another important broadcast of 7 o'clock news at 6. We have several very important headlines to cover tonight. Please stick with us. I promise you'll enjoy it. Okay, first one. Yesterday in a Midwestern desert town, a giant flying object was expelled from an unknown source traveling 50,000 miles before finally colliding with the ground below. It did directly contact 15 people, causing one man to literally explode. You want anything to drink? Nah, I'm fine. You can have whatever though. You know where the ice chest is, right? Yeah, right outside, where but a few minutes ago we found ourselves staring ominously into the heavens. Yep. Yes. Without that, how do we ever expect aliens from space well, that's exactly what to I'm come saying to us? Is, if we don't have any alien contact, we can't get rid of our global anvil problem. And the people won't exactly. stop saying global warming going on because they had no alien contact to show them that it was anvil the whole time. This is why we need Support immigration And reform. I would like to say also that... Um, Alright, well, you heard it last here on 7 o'clock news at 6. Long way here, yeah. I mean, to contemplate your life. Please enjoy this commercial break. We'll be back in like 25 seconds or so. Now there's no reason you had to go out and... You know what? The odds of this happening are so impossible, I can't even get upset at this. So the way I see it is, I know I don't have a, a bachelor's of art in 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 doc, doctoral studies or, or whatever. But the way I see it is, if you're in 500 pieces, they cannot just put you back together. Because what happens is when you explode, you explode. So there's a separation of individual particles within the body. And what happens is they're broken into little particles called decibels. And what happens is when those separate, there is uh, some sort of neuronal connection. Going in between them is forever severed and they cannot be.